Hey everybody, uh, Ron from Back in the Fairway here, and I'm on the beautiful 17th hole here at Echo Falls. Uh, this is one of those challenging, uh, to say the least, holes. Um, let me see if I can actually uh, cheat a little bit here and get a little better picture for you. So, over here on the right-hand side of the hole, we have a ton of water. That also houses the uh, green uh, for the 18th hole, which is kind of a floating green. Um, then off to, you'll notice to the left-hand side of the fairway over here, you're going to see bunkers galore. So um, what we have here is an extremely tough driving hole. And it's one of those where you definitely need to take your time and lay it out well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this set up and hit a shot here. Um, typically... This is totally a hybrid hole for me. Um, the little bit of draw that I get with this thing is absolutely perfect. Um, yeah, I think I will go with that play right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down on the T marker again here. So hopefully you guys can come along on the journey here. So let's get a ball in the ground. Oh, let's get a ball in the ground here. And with my hybrid, I usually tee it up pretty low. Um, more like an iron, but not quite. Um, just something you don't really need to worry too much about. But uh, the next thing I do is when I'm up here, I will check my yardage, 382 to the middle of the green on this one. So I'm gonna zap my, my tag in on my golf pad uh, GPS here. And that registers NFC to the phone. I'm now going to line up pretty much dead center and start this just a touch right towards the water and let it come around a little bit. And it's that simple. And that looks absolutely stunning. All right. What do you say? We go down and uh, check out where this one went. I'm going to try to pick this up without destroying. There we go. I think I got it this time. Anyway, um, whew, that worked out better than I thought it would, especially live. <laughs> um, anyway, let's drive up in the cart here and uh, see if we can't find that ball right away. It looked like it was right down the water line, but um, let's see. Um, this is kind of a weird one for me. I'm actually carting today so I can get through 18 before the weather changes. Uh, it's still pretty sketchy out there, but um, it's held off really, really well. Um, gosh, every time I come around that corner. Let's see if I can get it out there for a Yeah. <laughs> anyway, maybe if I get lucky, I'll uh, do a little broadcasting from the 18th as well. Um, this tee shot looks like it's going to be phenomenal once we get out here. Um, All right, now we're in cart path only today. We're at 210 right there. So I'm actually gonna stop right here even though it's short of where that ball should have come now. I'm just gonna take a look for it. Um, yeah, so anyway, course is playing really, really good. There's a couple of fairways that are very, very uh, iffy at best with how much grass is left on them. And there it is right by the 150 marker. I'm going to actually come over here and get a yardage. Looks like I hit it just through the edge of the fairway. Um, so yeah, this is a 245 yard tee shot here. Let's see if I can get this guy to fire up here. Yeah, so 244, 141 left in. Um, it's absolutely spot on um, as you come around over my shoulder here you can see the green Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit here for you oh it won't let me zoom in on it in this mode all right so anyway uh, so I've got 140 in pin is on the back side of the green but I'm going straight over the water so what I want to do here is kind of take a little uh, Oh, let's see here. What would that be? I'm guessing it's going to chop about 
20 or 30 yards off. So let me let me pop in here really quick. This has actually got a map mode on it that'll give you yardages to the pins. Um, so 145. I just got done hitting a pitching wedge just right on that distance. So that's what I'm going to pull here. Um, yeah. So anyway, yeah, got that going. We'll get back over here and see where we're at yardage wise and get it all dialed in. It is a long way back to that hole. <laughs> um, but if I'm going straight over the water, it shouldn't be nearly as tough. Anyway, let's get back to this. Uh, let me get a tee on the ground here so I can hold this up so you can kind of watch. Anyway, um, do -do -do -do. see how we did there. All right. Yep, I think you got me. And again, I'm going to pull out the GPS just to make sure here. Um, I don't use a range finder or anything like that. Okay, so I've got 138 the center but going over the water I'm actually about about 140 so we'll see how this works out here I've got got the pitching wedge in hand and it's gonna be a nice smooth swing hopefully with a little draw That's coming right back towards the center of the green. And may have just been a touch long, but overall pretty happy with that shot on this tough hole. Um, yeah, working out really well for me. I'm gonna pause this while I head up to the green and then we'll see if we can get some putting done. All right, now I'm back with you here by the green. I'm sorry, it's just a little ways up here and didn't want to take the extra time uh, filming that. And actually my shot in didn't turn out nearly as bad as I thought it did. Um, yeah. So, I am really out of focus today, aren't I? Anyway, um, pretty easy putt coming up here. Let me see what I can do here for getting this down near the hole here so you can kind of see where this ends up. All right, how are we looking? All right, I think that's me in the middle there. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Anyway, this should just break a touch of right, so hopefully it's coming right at you. I'm actually gonna mark this really quick here. And pick up a lot of sand coming off the green here. Um, there's a lot of sand on this course right now, so we'll see. we'll see how this puts out. And that's how you get birdies. Anyway, um, so that's this one. We'll move on to 18.